everyone. This is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. Here are some of my trout friends. Oh look, it's Mike Trout. Hi! Hi! He is pretty shy. We are back at Echo Lake. To dive in underwater metal detect anything that shouldn't be here in the water. To make the waterways a little cleaner and the swimming area a little safer. I've been detecting here a ton over the last 35 years and easily cleaned out around a thousand pounds worth of stuff. From broken pipes, pieces of car parts, lots of lead fishing weights, trash, and some good stuff like coins and jewelry. When I first get into the water, I walk around the area that I plan on detecting to pick up anything that I see on the surface, and then I get down to business. On this day, I wasn't here very long, only about five hours. I spent a lot of time swimming with the different fish, tons of large brook trout. Our first target was this necklace. This was a weird looking one. I'll show you what I mean when we go over everything. Our grossest find of the day, a band-aid. Up next, the smallest target of the day, an earring back. We found an earring. This was my favorite find up until this point. What kind of piece of jewelry is this? It has a pearl and a crystal on it. That is... That is nice. Cool. I don't even know what the heck this is. It's got a. I don't know, maybe it went to a bracelet or something? I don't know. It's got a nice. That's pretty cool. It's got a pearl. And it looks like a crystal of some sort. We got a bullet casing. Bullet casing is a little funny This was an interesting find. A 925 silver silverware handle that has been made into a pendant. This was also stamped 925 silver, 
You can tell something was glued on it at some point, and the top piece has eroded away. We got some coin. Here is a 1981 U.S. quarter. We also had a ton of smaller fish swimming around me the entire time. We found another earring. This one was stamped silver, 925. That's an earring. And it might be silver, that might be a shaver. Yeah. Here are some of our other fish friends, like Finn and Aquafina. They're taking their family schooling. Of course, here is Mike Trout getting a ride from Gill to the ballpark. We will take a closer look at everything that we found here in a moment. First, let's take a look at a new device I got sent to me to help clean the finds that I get. It's called the Ultrasonic Cleaner by Creeworks. This model is their digital 3 liter ultrasonic cleaner. Creeworks did not pay me to put this in the video, nor did they tell me what to say. They gave the machine to me to see what I thought of it. If I didn't like it, it wouldn't be in the video. I can say with 100% certainty, it cleans items way better than I do. I thought I cleaned stuff really well by hand. I didn't. This product did a hundred times better than I ever could. The first test that I did was with some rings and random jewelry that I found underwater metal detecting. I used distilled water so no chlorine is in it and used a little bit of jewelry cleaner. I set the temperature to 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit and the timer to five minutes. I supposedly already cleaned these but you can tell by the watercolor, the machine got a lot of what I missed. Once it was done, I took out the basket and dried all the pieces with a paper towel. Most are done, however, some will most likely need to go back in for a little bit longer. For only five minutes, I'm really happy with the outcome. Wow. This one looks really clean compared to where it was. And really tarnished and dirty. This looks really good too. Man, it looks brand new. Wow. That was so dirty. I didn't even think it was silver. So I didn't even know there was a green stone in this. Because it was so black. And the whole ring was black. So it's actually stamped 925. I have been testing tons of finds over the last month from coins, jewelry, sunglasses, rusty items, brass, copper, from mixing items together to the cleaning solutions to see what works best for certain finds. Creeworks has a number of different size models for the ultrasonic cleaner from 2 liters up to 30 liters. Price ranges from $69.99 to $299.99. The 3 liter is what I'm using in this video. It's currently selling for $89.99. If you metal detect, I find this is an easier way to clean items faster or if you are just cleaning your regular jewelry, coins, glasses, for personal use, I would say the 2 liter would be perfect for you. If you want to clean bigger items, then I would look at some of the larger units. They go up to 30 liters. 
I find the three liter will clean most anything that I would find and want to keep. You can adjust the digital timer and temperature. You can also use a wide array of different cleaning solutions. I personally tested Simple Green with distilled water, Haggerty Jewelry Cleaner with distilled water, and for the rusty items, I use Rust Dissolver and distilled water. It does recommend to use distilled water with your cleaning solution. This ultrasonic cleaner quickly removes rust, tarnish, cooked on carbon, and other stains from jewelry, utensils, children's toys, glasses, retainers, and just about everything else you can fit in them. I will add a link down below to Creeworks Amazon page if you're interested in this device or want to check some of their other really cool products that they sell like the vinyl record cleaner wire stripper machines soldering machines lathe machines dehumidifiers air compressors they even sell beehive starter kits mini crawler excavators and another one that I would personally love to try the auto open heat press machine to make my own t-shirts mugs handbags to sell in the store that I'm starting to put together the only thing that I would change had nothing to do with the machine itself I sent an email to Creeworks to explain the one thing that I wish Creeworks would do in their manual and that is to give a breakdown of what solutions mixed with distilled water works best for cleaning the different items. That would be my only suggestion for down the road. That could be a big benefit to the company and the customer. I love the fact that James wrote back in less than a day to say your advice was incredibly valuable. I've already passed it on to our operations team and they're excited to implement it. Not only do I love using this machine, it saves me time cleaning things. I also love the company. Hello everyone, this is Adam with AEW Main Treasure Adventures. Today, I'm mostly messing around with the fish. I barely dug anything up. I found this. This is stamp 925. It's kind of cool. It's an earring. Nothing fancy. Another earring. This is different. Necklace. And ultimately my favorite find. Though I did get some stains on it from mixing it with all the other stuff in my bag. But it's like a little crystal. And a pearl. And I believe the pearl is real. This I have to get checked out by somebody else. That is super cool. AEW out.